Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, one of my favorite saying uh, in regarding to cooking is that we love flavor first uh, before we love food. This is clearly demonstrated in uh, children, particularly the newborn baby. Uh, you can tell why the newborn baby loves mother's milk because uh, he loves the flavor of the milk. And the food industry has figured this out because they realize that if they flavor their food correctly, uh, no matter what it is, uh, people will buy it. And when we eat food, uh, the first thing we will say that, wow, this tastes great, uh, rather than this food is so healthy. Uh, this is particularly true for children. Uh, they do not care about the nutritional quality of the food, but they do care about how good the food tastes. Uh, this is also true for most adults. Uh, they will consider the flavor of the food first before they consider the nutrition quality of the food. I designed my fast cooking system uh, to be creative, practical, efficient, and fun uh, so that it is suitable for the modern lifestyle. However, for the cooking system to be truly sustainable, the person must love the food he or she cooks. Uh, my fast cooking system has four components that is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And all of these four components, flavor chasing uh, is the most important. And for most people, in order for them to be continue to go into the kitchen to cook, is that they must love the food that they cook. And they also must uh, find that what they cook, nobody can replicate. In other words, they are their own very best cooks. Of the four attributes of the cooking system, a flavor chasing is the process uh, the person will constantly improve the flavor of their food uh, so that it becomes a quest. Each time when they enter into the kitchen, uh, they will look for a way uh, to improve the flavor uh, from the last time they cook. In fact, this is what going to make home cooking fun uh, because they will be constantly creative, imaginary, and exploratory. A flavor chasing is experimental rather than prescriptive. You do not achieve flavor chasing uh, by recipe-based cooking. Rather, you achieve flavor chasing uh, through template-based cooking. Uh, most people do not like recipe-based cooking because they do not understand the reason behind each step. Therefore, they feel powerless to make any changes. Uh, in the case of uh, template-based cooking, the purpose of each step is carefully explained so that the person will have the understanding uh, to make changes accordingly. Uh, one of the most sought-after answers in stir-frying or cooking in general is how to season your food. Uh, in recipe-based cooking, a list of seasoning agents uh, is being selected uh, for a particular dish. Uh, there are a prescribed amount to add to cook the dish. There is no explanation what is the intention of each of the seasoning agents. Uh, most of the time, when the dish uh, did not turn out the way how we expected, uh, we do not understand why, but we also uh, have no idea of how to correct the flavor. In template based cooking, it is very different because each of the seasoning agents uh, is explained uh, for their purpose and functions. So you can use this information and to make changes to achieve the flavor that you are looking for. In this video, I'm going to describe the four different ways that I use uh, to season my dish. Uh, to help you to achieve the flavor that you want in your dish, I'm going to explain the function and principles of different seasoning approach uh, so you can just season it accordingly. Uh, the first approach, I call it the natural ingredients approach. In this approach, you will create a flavor according uh, to enhance the natural flavor of each of the food ingredients. Uh, for example, if you love the flavor of an apple, uh, you will not want anything else to interfere uh, with its natural flavor. Occasionally, 
you might like a caramel apple, but most of the time you probably like it the way exactly as it is. And this method is particularly good if your、uh, food ingredients is of the highest quality, and you would like to、uh, taste their natural flavor. And it's also excellent、uh, for creating、uh, medleys with a combination of different vegetables. And by selecting the right combination,、uh, you can create the flavor that you desire based entirely on the natural flavor of the food ingredients. I frequently use this method、uh, to create a dish with、uh, four, five, or even six different kinds of vegetables. I carefully select different vegetables to go into dish、uh, to uh, accentuate uh, their natural flavor by creating contrast between one ingredients with the other ingredients. Quite often, when you use this method to season your dish,、uh, you really do not want to add any other seasonings、uh, to the dish.、Uh, the idea is the same when you have an excellent apple. With exquisite taste and flavor,、uh, you do not want to interfere with this apple. And、uh, the second method for seasoning a dish is the use of aromatics,、uh, which are、uh, ingredients that can create a particular aroma that will enhance、uh, the flavor of a dish. I think we all realize how important smell、uh, to our taste.、Uh, anyone who lost their sense of smell. Uh, we find that、uh, their taste is not the same as well. And when we have a cold and our nose is congested,、uh, we frequently find food just simply not taste the same. When I use aromatic、uh, to season my dish, I usually saute them in the beginning、uh, before I add other ingredients to the wok. The common aromatics that I use for this purpose、uh, include onion, scallion. Ginger and jalapeno pepper. I use them to generate wonderful aroma that will infuse into the main ingredients of the dish. In stir frying, before adding the main ingredients to the wok, it is frequently to first stir frying a small amount of garlic and ginger for about a few seconds. Uh, this will generate wonderful aroma and greatly improve the flavor of the dish.、Uh, the third method to season a dish in stir frying is the use of、uh, dry flavoring agents such as herbs and spices.、Uh, for the herbs and spices to be effective in stir frying to create a flavor, it is important、uh, for them to、uh, dissolve in a sauce. In this case,、uh, when the food ingredients are wrapped in the sauce,、uh, the flavor of the herbs and spices will then do their jobs.、Uh, there are many kinds of herbs and spices that、uh, give them a, a tremendous、uh, capacity、uh, for affecting the flavor of the dish.、Uh, in some type of stir fry dishes, the herbs and spices are added in a significant quantity that will have profound impact on the flavor of the dish. However, in other cases, herbs and spices are only added in a very small amount. In this case, it has only minor impact on the dish. An example of the significant impact of herbs and spices is the use of、uh, chili powder.、Uh, when added in a large quantity, the food becomes very spicy.、Uh, in fact, in this case, you could not taste the natural flavor of the food ingredients.、Uh, for many cuisines. Uh, the signature flavor of the uh, dish uh, is due to the use of specific kind of herbs and spices.、Uh, in some of these dishes,、uh, it is hard to taste the natural flavor of the food ingredients because the herbs and spices plays a dominant role in controlling the flavor of the dish.、Uh, in this type of dishes,、uh, the sauce. Plays a critical role because the herb and spices are incorporated into the sauce.、Uh, the fourth type of seasoning strategy、uh, is to use pre-made sauces、uh, such as oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, teriyaki sauce, and a, a whole host of different sauces. A sauce represents a shortcut、uh, to create the type of flavor that you want. A sauce is particularly useful in stir frying、uh, because you can add the sauces toward the end of the stir frying process, and instantly、uh, you can、uh, flavor the dish. 
And by using a combination of different sauces, it is possible、uh, to create a unique flavor for the dish. So, as you can see, the flavor of a dish can be created by these four approaches: the natural flavor of the ingredients,、uh, the aromatics, the herbs and spices, and the sauces.、Uh, they are not mutually exclusive, and they can all be used together、uh, to create the final flavor、uh, that you want in your dishes. So, when you do stir frying, think of these four different approaches to flavor your dish. In some cases,、uh, you might want to use a a single approach, but in other cases, you might want to use a combination of these four approaches. And my fast cooking system、uh, with、uh, flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking、uh, is designed in such a way、uh, that you can make use of these four seasoning approaches. I post a video each day to help you to adopt my fast cooking system, so that you can make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. So that you can make home cooking as part of your daily routine. So,、uh, if you would like to learn more about my cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.